Peter has a very exciting prop, but you don't get to see it yet because it's the opener. We're in the opener, baby. And the opener is brought to you by our beautiful friends at Draft Kings. Had to get the read up. Baseball fans, it's time to step up to the freaking plate with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. New customers can bet just $5 on any team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. If Sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, you can still take a swing at stacks of green. We all need that money in this economy. Good luck if you're trying to buy a house. Uh, with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Baseball Contest, new customers can play free for thousands in prizes with their first deposit, pick a lineup of two pitchers and eight batters while staying under the salary cap and rack up points for hits, runs, strikeouts, and more. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable, just like Peter Moylan. That's Best nice. of all, you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code JOHNBOYBET, just $5, and win $200 in free bets. If your team wins their game, that's promo code JOHNBOY at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball, 21 and up. Restrictions apply. MLB trademarks used with permission. See show notes for details. Nailed that. Thanks. DraftKings. DraftKings. Openers. Wait, 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 wait. Stephen Kwan. Mm. This is a guy that like wasn't really on. I mean, he was probably on some radars, but like we're talking. I've never heard of him. Yeah. I don't know if we should admit that, but yeah, same. No, I had never heard of him until this weekend. Okay, same. Last episode we picked, or, you know, we went through the DraftKings odds for Rookie of the Year. In my screenshot, Stephen Kwan was the very bottom name in that made the screenshot, plus 5,000. Wow. Hope you put your bet in on DraftKings Sportsbook for Stephen Kwan. Dude's going insane. Were you about to say something, Pete? I was. Speaking of uh, <laughs> odds, he was 75 to 1 to win the Rookie of the Year before the start of the season. After one weekend, he's now 7 to 1. I love how you say the word weekend. Say what it. What did I say? Weekend. You say, it. you say it right. I just like how you like separate the syllables. Weekend. I don't even know that I do that. Hmm. It's beautiful. Um, I said lovely on the other, the other day and I, the two guys on either side looked at me like you said lovely I said lovely I said I said Charlie Morton is a lovely guy and they were like <laughs> well, you don't use lovely in this country they're like oh, not really I was like, okay <sighs> go on not saying it okay so what what did you just say he was he went from 70 that? 75 to one to win the book of the year and now after one weekend he's seven to one so if you missed out on that bet, you probably should get on it now. I don't know, because look at what he's done. This is like the best start to a career of all time. First of all, he's a fifth round pick in 2018 out of Oregon State. He played with Nick Madrigal, our guy, Adley Brushman, our guy. Um, but in, in four games, the start to his big league career, four games, he's hitting 692 with two doubles, a triple, three RBI, six runs scored, five walks, and a 790 OBP. Yes, Pete. This next line is the most incredible thing you're going to read today. Why don't you read it? Okay. He has seen 82 pitches and has yet to swing and miss on 26 swings. That's bonkers. In the big leagues. This isn't, this isn't, this is the big leagues. Mm -hmm. And this is his first time seeing big league pitching. And he's done well, doing he's that. he's probably seen it before. And he's absolutely not missing. Literally not missing. <laughs> yeah. How does that happen? Like actually... He's sitting in the two hole um, ahead of Jose Ramirez eighth inning yep. yesterday. He had a three run triple in a run, one run game. Um, but yeah, this is the most times reaching base in a player's first career four games since 1920. Jay Bruce, the last guy to do to get to 13 in 2008. But Stephen Kwan has overtaken that. I wonder who are they playing right now? Guardians. I don't have my iPad. The Guardians play the Reds today at 410. Cool. Battle of Ohio. How did how was Tyler Stevenson? How did the Reds look? Uh, Stevenson is a beast. I didn't want to speak yeah. to him or give wish him any luck before the weekend. You didn't finished. get a meet him? No, I didn't. I mean, I, I didn't want to I just didn't want to mess with anything. So I just stayed away. Yeah. Um, but he he He's going to be so good. He's so big behind the dish and he's so comfortable and he looks so solid behind there. Even 
though he's so such a big human, he looks like he's he's so athletic, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And his swing is elite. He obviously hit a home run against us while we were there, but he's going to have a really good year this year. Uh, Hunter Green was as expected. Really? Scouting report is he's going to strike out a lot and give up a couple of homers, and that's exactly what ended up happening. Um, his off-speed stuff was the stuff that kind of impressed me more than anything. Obviously, everyone knows about his fastball, but he can now, was match. His, was his velo up there? Yeah, 101. He had 101. Um, he was a little, a little bit. Uh, it's, uh, who hasn't, you know? He wasn't, he wasn't sitting 101, was he? No, he was 97 to, to 96 <laughs> to, to 101. Yeah. yeah. But the slider and the, and the changeup were good too. So um, he's he's my pick for rookie of the year. And I'm, I'm going to continue to say that. Wow. Okay. Back to Stephen Kwan. Yes. This is something that like he does. Like this isn't like a fluky thing of, of Stephen Kwan. Pete, why don't you The more you read into this, the more we read into this, the more I realize we probably should have known about Stephen Kwan. And, and <laughs> no, that's why I said, that's why I said, I don't know if we should have made that. <laughs> okay. So Sam Dykstra said, for those thinking that Stephen Kwan's contact rate is new, these are, these were the minor league swing and miss rates for him. For leaders, minimum 300 plate appearances from 2021. He had a 2.6% swing and miss rate. And the closest one to him at number two was a 5% swing. And so anyone above that was 5, 5.2, 5.2, and 5.3. So he's twice as good at not missing as anybody in the minor leagues last year, effectively. 51 games in double A, he hit 337 with a 411 OBP. 26 games in triple A, he hit 311. He had a 398. OBP and AAA. So like dude hits for average dude, obviously gets on base. Dude, obviously doesn't miss. Um, his last strikeout came on September 26 of 2021 with triple a Columbus. This includes spring training. That is from our friend, Mandy bell done tweeted that out. Unbelievable. So just like radar, Stephen Kwan radar, baseball radar, pay attention. Guardians. He's on mine now. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be fun to follow along with um, this season. But I was about to say Peter's taking Hunter Green over him for Rookie of the Year, but they're in different leagues. So they. they but Bobby Witt's my right. American League choice. Yeah. Pete. Yes. You got a World Series ring, baby. I got a World Series ring yesterday. If you do haven't you have seen it, this, can you see it? I do. You can see it. You ready for this? Yeah. That is the box that it came in. So cool. that it has. Yeah. So for those that are just listening, mm -hmm. the way the world series rings work is that there are four tiers. There is the players piece, the resistance top of the top. And then there's a couple of levels down below that. This one is the friends and family version, which is still absolutely primo. It's exactly the same as the players ring, except it doesn't have the opening function which okay. is the players are all, it's, that's obviously amazing. But this itself is just, I'll put it on my hand so you get an idea of how big it is. Um, idea. It is absolutely insane. Jeez. Yeah, that it takes is, up your whole knuckle. It is beautiful. It is unmatched, I think. And I think they did a really good job. And every part of it has a special meaning uh, the design crew and the Braves did such a good job and they've, and they've been handing them out over the weekend and it's been so fun to watch Braves employees and, and uh, Gretchen got hers today. Gretchen what? Gret got hers today. Oh, I love Gretchen. Yeah, I know. I've been talking about Gretchen a lot to our crew because I just adore that woman. That yeah. Gretchen, for you guys who have absolutely no idea who we're talking about, Gretchen is the producer for, for the Braves broadcast on Fox Sports South. And she is one of the greatest people, one of the most knowledgeable baseball people. And she has been working with the Braves for so long. And she, she's just like so respected in um, the industry and her baseball and Braves knowledge is like unmatched. Great. So anyway, we love Gretchen Caney. Brandon Gretchen <laughs> Caney, shout out. <laughs> Hope you're listening, Gretchen. <laughs> So yes, that was, and the way they did it, uh, BJ and I were on the set yesterday. I was midway through trying to spit out some absolute fire about Inoa, and I was staring at camera two and to the left of camera two, I see Derek Schiller walking out with two boxes. So I'm trying to stay focused on what I'm trying to say, looking in the camera 
mm-hmm. knowing that he's walking over to give me World Series ring live on t- television. And I'm start, you know, me, I start to sweat. I'm like, oh my God, this is happening. And then he, he walks in front of the camera on live TV and just says, hey, we'd like to present you with these rings. And it was just, it was such a cool moment for me, especially at the school. That was a great touch that, that mm. they were all given on camera. They did. Yeah, it was cool. They do everything first class, that's for sure. But now you also started a journey of your own this weekend. And I'm so proud of you and pumped for you. You look so happy. I did not understand how the hell you were fucking wearing short sleeves in Colorado. And I was rugged up like it was snowing in Atlanta. (laughs) But carry on. How did your weekend go? It was amazing. And it's just like, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm back home. Just like being in a dugout, you know, and I I don't think I realized how much I, I mean, I did, I did realize very much over the last two years, how much I missed it, but it's cool because it's like a, I appreciate everything so much more. And like, I just, it's, it's cool going into a job and um, not having to learn, you know, I feel like with the Braves, I had to go in and learn because I was 23. I was so young and it's, it's cool to go into a job and, and be confident, you know, and like kind of know how to do things. Um, But the team, the clubhouse is absolutely amazing. Like the guys in the clubhouse, there's not a bad egg. They're all great with the media. Um, It's a really good vibe in the clubhouse right now because the NL West, I mean, we're not naive. The NL West is like one of the toughest divisions in baseball. And I'm not sitting here saying that the Rockies are going to win the NL West, but the players in there, like with the expanded postseason, um, they got to they got a sneaky lineup. It might not be one full of star power because a lot of the guys who the Rockies are hoping to have a good year aren't brand name guys, but, but they can be Brendan Rogers has his first full healthy season. Um, Connor Joe is going to be everybody's favorite player. Connor Joe is a guy who um, was diagnosed with testicular cancer in, in 2020 and beat it. I believe it was testicular cancer. Um, he was diagnosed in the middle of spring training and he beat it. And um, he's just like an incredible dude, utility guy, yeah, can hit for power, cool. hit for average. I didn't know that. And he's just like so kind. And um, my friend Randall Britchick is over there now. And it's really cool to be in the same dugout as him. When, when he got on the plane, he was like, oh, I forgot that you were like <laughs> with us, like on the plane. And I was like, yeah, dude, uh, Chris Bryant, one of the nicest, smiley, gets it professional dudes like just gets it with the media um their their rotation Armand Marquez seven innings one run 74 pitches versus the Dodgers um they they have I mean it's it's a really fun team Denver is amazing it was great weather opening weekend like you said it was like 69 on opening day 74 the second game um and then when I get back it's like freezing like a high of 50 so I'll be in down jackets and stuff but it's just it's amazing being back. We beat the Dodgers opening series. We beat the Rangers last night in this quick two game set. Um, so I'm just excited to like dive. Um, it's nice to have a team again, like a team that I can like be invested in. And, yeah. you know, I mean, that's a big part of my life. So I, it's, they're awesome. It's an incredible organization. I got to wear uh, air force ones on the plane. Loved, loved that. <laughs> got to wear sneakers on the plane. Um, so yeah, it's so much fun. Like I said, Ranger stadium is really cool. Like if you're a baseball fan, it's just with the roof open, it's stunning. Kind of looks like a hospital on the outside, but, um, stunning on the inside, very Texas, which makes me feel right big. at home. So it's, is it it's, it's just massive huge. And, yeah. It yeah. is huge. You know how like truest was built for more of like an intimate feel but it, but I believe the capacity at Truist is more than the capacity at Globe Life. But Globe Life just feels massive when right. you're in there. What's the capacity? I think I think it's forty five at. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's forty something at, and I could totally be making that up. And they do lose a lot of seating because it's it. Uh, left field is kind of like it is at Minute Maid in Houston, where. Um, like how minute made kind of just has like the Crawford boxes and then they, there's not much seating over there. So they might lose out on some seating in that way, but like the press box, you were like, up, you were up, 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 like straight up. Like it's, you look down and you're like, Whoa, like Washington worse. It's so it's like on the roof, (laughs) the press box, but best media dining I've ever had. 
best media dining. And I was saying that I made friends with the chef because I got lost. Duh. Um, so he had to walk me through the kitchen to the, to the proper elevator, the most Kelsey Winger thing ever. Thing ever. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I saw him later that day on the, on another elevator and he had told me he was the head chef. So I like, wait, there was a big, a big group of like six guys in suits got on the elevator. And then I see the chef in the corner and I waved to the chef and I was like, dude, that was the best media dining I've ever had in my life. And a guy in a suit was like, can you say that again? Cause this is the owner of the team. <laughs> no I way. Was like, yeah, I was like, you have the best media dining I've ever had. And I've been to a lot of them. And he was like, no wow, way. thanks. <laughs> so that's amazing. Yep. Listen to the full episode wherever you consume your podcasts or by clicking the link on the screen now.